Hello and welcome to Intrigue News, where we provide you with global news updates. And today we're going to be talking about David Dunge, um, who was an Arab, Ab- Aboriginal man who also cried out, I can't breathe before his death, and Australians cannot forget his name. So we are going to be talking about him today. Um, that will be the news segment for today. Please do subscribe for up to the minute updates in global news. So while communities around the world are continuing to come together in grief and rage to protest against police brutality and racism, Australians are being asked to confront their own long and ongoing history of violence against Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. While we witness the outrage happening in the US, we can never forget the injustice of this nation that is also built on genocide and the disposition of black bodies. It's always easier to look outside rather than our own backyard. This was tweeted by a Twitter user um, a couple of days ago. Just last year, The Guardian published a database showing more than 400 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people have died in custody since the end of the Royal Commission into Aboriginal deaths in custody in 1991. While the name George Floyd is is very well known around the world, in Australia, the circumstances of his death are tragically similar to those surrounding the death of a young Aboriginal man named David Dungay. In 2015, David Dungay was 26 years old and just weeks away from being released from Long Bay Jail in New South Wales. He was eating biscuits in his cell when prison staff ordered him to stop. When he refused, six guards moved him to another cell and held him down. David Dungay's last words were, I can't breathe, please let me, let me up, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, please don't let me up, please help, please, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Dungay was held down and administered a sedative in CCTV footage that was partially released to the public. Dungay said 12 times that he could not breathe before he lost consciousness and died. And in the wake of George Floyd's identical last words, Australians are being asked to look not at the US but at the systematic racism police brutality that occurs all too often on home soil. David Dungay's mother, Lituna Dungay, continues to fight for justice and has made an appeal to the Director of Public Prosecutions to hold the NSW government responsible for his death. A GoFundMe has been set up to cover the ongoing expenses of his campaign. Please consider donating. I will leave a link below for this. In Sydney, Caddy, this Saturday, June 6th, a vigil will be held for George Floyd and David Dungay and in memory of all black people who have died in police custody around the world. David Dungay Jr. is one name, but there are countless other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples who have died and continue to die at the hands of police brutality. If you're in Australia and want to support the Black Lives Matter movement, here are all the protests that that you can attend. We'll leave the links below for this. If you are planning on joining the protests, the organisers ask that you wear masks, adhere to social distancing and keep things peaceful. Please stay safe, speak out against the violence and deaths of black people in custody. Black Lives Matter.